You're walking down a stony path, when the sharp popping sound of gunfire suddenly assails you. A muzzle flashes, and you see a weapon firing at you from behind a tree. Then a blast roars through the air. You not only hear it, but feel some of its shockwave. Smoke fills the path ahead of you, making it hard to see. Ducking for cover, you see a human shape shoot at you. You take aim with your firearm and pull the trigger. But nothing happens. The weapon doesn't work anymore because you are dead. Realistic battlefield effects targets the shoot back with laser technology and an enhanced system to track training performance are among the features of the new Mirai Urban Battle Circuit. When this battle circuit opens from April, up to 22,000 soldiers are expected to pass through each year to complete small unit drill-based training. Located within the Mirai Urban Training Facility, it is one of three battle circuits using enhanced technology set to open this year as the Singapore Armed Forces SAF seeks to train soldiers more effectively. Defence Minister Ying Ying Hen provided updates on SAF's training capabilities during the Ministry of Defence's MindEF Committee of Supply Cost session in Parliament on Wednesday, February 28. The battle circuit in Alma Kang will be used to train with vehicles and defence systems, while the one in Pasalaba will be used for jungle warfare. Both are projected to open from mid-2024. All will be located southwest of Lim Chu Kao, in the same neighbourhood, where Phase 1 of the Singapore Armed Forces Training Institute Safti City will also open later this year. Safti City, touted as a next-generation smart training facility, will feature diverse urban structures like public transport nodes, interconnected high-rise buildings and other public amenities. The sprawling facility is estimated to be more than 100,000 SQM in size and can support brigade-level training. MindEF has made sizable investments to enhance training realism and effectiveness for national servicemen and men and regulars, said Dr. Ng. At Mirai Urban Battle Circuit, for example, a system developed by ST Engineering allows instructors to control the battlefield effects and targets remotely from a tablet. The same system also captures training performance data at the individual and team levels and even playback of troop movements. These can be reviewed after the exercise for evidence-based learning. Laser-based engagement means that when a target makes a critical shot at a soldier, the soldier's firearm will stop working and a red light on their vest will flash to indicate they are dead. This marks a move away from traditional methods of training that rely on verbal cues, said Lt. Colonel Lim Jifeng, Head Training Capability Development Branch, HQ Training and Doctrine Command. With a more realistic combat scenario in training, Soldiers can better hone their tactical responses, said LTC Lim. Besides allowing better training oversight, it also allows us to employ the use of data analytics, as well as user-centric debriefing tools to provide timely and objective feedback for our soldiers, he added. Dr. Ng also updated Parliament on the expansion of Showwater Bay training area in Australia's Queensland which is on track for completion this year. The expansion will allow SAF to increase the scale of Exercise Wallaby, already its largest unilateral overseas training exercise, by close to 50%, and lengthen its duration from six weeks to nine weeks. Together with the development of the adjacent Greenville training area, SAF will have a combined training area ten times the size of Singapore up from four times currently. SAF will then be able to deploy up to 14,000 staff and 2,400 vehicles and equipment annually, said Dr. Ng. This would be an increase from the 4,300 staff and 450 platforms deployed to Showwater Bay last year. A new central manpower base, located opposite Cashew MRT Station, is also on track to open in phases from 2025 to serve pre-enlistees and ends men, with more details to come.